This is Tom Bernanke, and do you have pain at the back of your heel? This bump right here, this is called a Hagelin's deformity. This is a big bump on the back of your heel. It causes swelling and rubbing against the back of your high heels, your dress shoes, your ice skates. This is also called the pump bump. I'm gonna show you the absolute best ways to treat this at home so that you can avoid surgery, but we'll show you what surgery is like too, and we're starting now. If you have a big lump on the back of your heel, this can be rubbing against your dress shoes, your high heels, your ice skates, anything that has a hard back. And basically it's rubbing, it's getting swollen and irritated. This is such a common problem. It overlaps with a lot of other disorders. Common disorders that are related to this bump on the back of the heel are called heel bursitis. So if you have swelling and swollen red hot tissue, this could be retrocalcaneal heel bursitis. This is not the actual bone, but you're just so sore where your Achilles tendon inserts. There's a lot of fluid building up. This is our guide towards retrocalcaneal bursitis. Number two, you could actually have a heel spur. So an actual spike coming up out of the back of your heel. If you're older, this heel spur does not need surgery. Most of the time it does not. If you wanna learn more about your heel spur and if you think you have more of a heel spur, click right here. If you think you have Achilles tendonitis, so see this right here above your heel, that's actually called Achilles tendonitis. And if you're sore in the morning, if it takes you a little while to warm up, that's Achilles tendonitis. Here's our guide. We're gonna help you take care of that Achilles tendonitis. But if it is the bone pain, the actual bone right here, this is called a pump bump or a Hagelin's deformity. This can rub, it can cause significant pain and it gets worse. If your pain is getting worse during the day as you're walking, that's a Hagelin deformity. Causes are rigid shoes. If you wear ice skates, if you wear high heels, if you wear men's dress shoes, if you're wearing stiff shoes that are rubbing that have no cushion, that's the bone. This is risk factors that cause this to happen. If you have a tight Achilles tendon, what happens is your foot can't bend straight up and down so it twists out. If your heel has to bend up and down and twist at the same time, it's gonna rub against the back of your shoe. Usually if you over pronate, this means your foot flattening out. So for example, if your foot lands and twists out, the heel right here is both collapsing and twisting against the back of your shoe. That's called over pronation and the back of the heel is rubbing against the shoe. It's twisting and moving up and down. That's what causes this pump bump or Hagelin deformity pain. And lastly, if you actually have some extra bone formation, people that have very high arched feet. So if you have a very high arched foot that flattens out, that's who is at most risk. So how do you diagnose a Hagelin's deformity? Well, you wanna go see your friendly podiatrist. That's us. Podiatrists can help with your Hagelin's deformity. You rarely need surgery. There's a lot of great things you can do, but we start out taking an x-ray. We evaluate you for a tight Achilles tendon, for extra bone formation. Do you have a spur? Do you have bursitis at the back of the heel? Do you have insertional Achilles tendonitis? There's a lot of different things going on. How are your knees? How are your hips? How's your lower back? Do you have flexibility disorders? Is work conditions causing this to happen for you? A podiatrist can help with all of that. But onto the treatments. Medications, so ibuprofen, Advil, Tylenol, all these things help with pain, but they don't fix the underlying problem. So pills help short term, but they're not a long term fix. This is also true for ice. With ice, it makes the pain feel better, but the next day you're gonna be causing that same pain. You're gonna be rubbing your heel. So that's not your answer. What really does help is 
You want to address your shoe. Do you have a dress shoe? Do you have a high heel? Do you have ice skates? Do you have cheap shoes that are rubbing on the back of your heel? That could be the easiest initial fix. If you get a supportive shoe, look at how it's stiff, but soft at the same time. It's a stiff heel that's soft. And what happens is this shoe right here does not bend. A lot of dress shoes are flexible and they don't give you support. They force your heel. When the shoe bends, your heel bends into the back of the heel and that leads to pain. So get a good running shoe, stiff sole, cushioned heel, and you want to get a pair of orthotics. So this is actually my old pair of custom orthotics, but remember how I showed you when your foot pronates, the heel rubs more. Watch what happens in an insert. I'm pushing down as hard as I can. Nothing's flattening out because you have a deep heel cup holding it together. So what happens is when you don't have an insert, see how much my foot can flatten out in an insert? Nothing's flattening out. The next thing you want to do is stretch. Personally, I love stretching. If your Achilles tendon's looser, this can really help. A Hagelin bump is the bone, but if you increase the flexibility, it will take a lot of pressure off the heel. So I'm starting here with massage rolling. This really loosens up the muscle. We're talking like 30 to 60 seconds for all your muscles. So your plantar fascia, your Achilles tendon, your calf muscle, the side of your leg, all the soft tissue and the muscles. So for the plantar fascia, you can even loosen it up with one of those spiked balls you see in every commercial or that comes with every product on Amazon. What this does do is it loosens up your ligaments and your muscles and that increases the flexibility in your foot and your calf muscle so that your heel does not absorb as much strength and as much impact when you land on your foot. So I massage roll my thigh, the side of my leg, my other thigh, and what this does do, this is proven through science to then quickly improve your flexibility. So you don't want to just start stretching right away. You want to actually massage and warm up your muscles and a massage roller stick for 30 to 60 seconds. Now this increases my flexibility dramatically. So I'm going to show you in a second. I'm using the towel to stretch my calf muscle and my hamstring and I'm doing my other leg right now. But this is the entire warm up routine. If you use the towel here, yeah, I'm going to show you in a second. I could barely touch my toe before I started this whole process, but now I stretch them up. Look at my hand is touching my toes and I can go even further. I get the flexibility past my toes. So look at that. I'm touching my wrist. That's taking a lot of pressure off that area. So that's the warm up routine. A couple minutes before your run, before your work shift makes all the difference on your Hagelin deformity. Another thing you want is, look at this gel pad right here. This can fit onto your heel right here. So you can use this gel to stop the back of your heel from rubbing. So you could see, it looks kind of funny, but this is how you protect your heel. See this gel pad? It's now gonna have some cushion from rubbing. So one thing you can do is pad up this heel with this gel pad and it can really make a difference. Look at that, it's kind of awkward. Personally, I wouldn't wear this thing, but some people love it, especially if you're a woman in high heel shoes. This is skin color. These are like pennies, pennies for something like this. And you can buy a lot of them. They come in multi packs in case they get ruined. The next thing is see this right here. This is a heel pad. So in the back of your shoe, you simply take this and you stick it in here like that. So this pad stops your heel from rubbing in the back of the heel. Another thing is a heel lift like this. So when you have your insole, you can take a pad and stick it to the bottom. The more you lift your heel, the higher your heel is and the less it rubs on your shoe. You can get three quarter length orthotics, three quarter length orthotics. The links are down below for all these products, by the way. If that's still not working, keep stretching more, keep doing more physical therapy, get rid of those uh, risk factors. Does surgery work on a Hagelin's deformity? 
It does. If you have a heel spur, a large bone bump, if your Achilles tendon is so tight and years go by and you can't get it flexible, what happens is you could shave the back of that heel and you could lengthen the Achilles tendon at the same time. This is a procedure I do a lot and I do it for people with heel spurs at the back of their Achilles tendon. Does it work great? For some people, I would not do this for a young person. If you're like a young woman or a young business go-getter man who has to wear dress shoes or high heels, men and women, you probably don't wanna do this procedure. But if you're a retiree with a huge heel spur and your heel spur is causing wounds and you can't fit in your shoe, this could be the perfect procedure for you. The downside is the recovery time. I usually need people to be in a cast immediately after surgery and then you're in a walking boot, and then you're in a brace. Realistically, it can take you about a month to just start walking again with protection in a boot, and it could take three months to kind of start getting back to normal. You know, it's not really for three months that you feel better than before the surgery. In my opinion, unless you're a young, healthy person, which I think you probably don't need the surgery at any point anyway. So that's how you fix this without surgery.